Chapter 10, Test Review Part 1, and let's look specifically at question number 1. They ask us to find the value of x. So you see x here is a variable inside of each of these uh, expressions. Uh, one is an expression for the central angle. Here's your central angle. That's the measure of your central angle. It's 8x plus 16. And this is an inscribed angle and the measure of this inscribed angle is 5x plus 4. Now you'll remember in class if we had let's say this guy was 80 degrees if this central angle is 80 degrees what would be the measure of this intercepted arc? It would also be 80 degrees and if that uh, intercepted arc was 80 degrees what would be the measure of this inscribed angle? It would be 40, 40 degrees. It's half of that. So Therefore, we want to take this expression. What we can do is either say half of 8x plus 16 equals 5x plus 4, because we're saying basically half of 80 equals 40. And, and I'm just throwing down numbers to help us to remember the relationship between these three different parts of a, a circle. So I'm not saying that this angle actually is 80 degrees. I'm just using it to remind you of the relationship between them. So I could either say that uh, one half of this central angle equals this uh, intercepted or this uh, inscribed angle, or which is the better way that I like to do, is say two times two times your inscribed angle equals your uh, intercepted arc, or in this case your central angle. As you know, both of those are equal to each other. So you'd say 2 times 5x plus 4 equals 8x plus 16. And of course you would then distribute your 2 inside the parentheses and then bring all the constant to one side, all the variables to one the other side, and then your coefficients uh, to the, 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 the original side. Uh, to be able to solve 4x.